I've owned a lot of different smart plugs in the past, starting from the Belkin Wemo back in the day, all the way to all these cheap smart plugs on Amazon. In this video, I'm gonna look at something a little bit more premium. This is the Ever Smart Plug, a premium smart plug with a lot of cool features. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what makes it premium and whether or not this is the right plug for you. Let's get into it. There are tons of smart plugs out on the market. They all come from different brands, some more familiar brands, smart home brands such as Govi, uh, Casa by TP-Link, Wise, and even Amazon has their own set of smart plugs as well. Then you have some generic brands of smart plugs, which probably all come from the same factory. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. And today we're looking at this unusually looking smart plug by Ever. Now, full disclosure, Ever did reach out to me and ask me if I would, would take a look at this unit. Uh, they're not seeing this video before it goes up. All my opinions are my own. And I've had this unit for a while. And one thing to note is this is a demo unit. So this will look a little bit different when it comes out on production, but it will pretty much function the same. When we talk about smart plugs, we're talking about devices that you plug into the wall and then, or a power strip. And then the, the device that you're trying to power up plugs into the smart plug. This gives you the ability to turn on and off a device through an app or through a uh, smart assistant ecosystem. And then also allows you to do some scheduling of on and off, some home automation, if the device or the smart assistant ecosystem supports it. All this can be done remotely. The Ever Smart Plug brings more to the table than just turning on and off your devices. First, let's talk about the design. Your typical smart plugs are these square shaped rectangular boxes or circular box plugs uh, uh, that are pretty small, a lot smaller than the original Belkin Wemo that I had, that even though the footprint is smaller, it could potentially still take up more than one plug space on your wall or on your power strip. What the EverSmart plug does is it has a cable on each side of the main electronic unit. And this brings the main electronics away from the plug, a uh, little wall socket. So what this does is it ensures that you're only going to take one space or one plug space. Now, if you look on the Ever website, you'll see that they have a little bit different design on the plug. So this is a pre-production unit. This is a demo unit. But the one on the website is a 90 degree angled uh, plug, which basically is a flat plug that's angled 45 degrees to save some space to ensure that you're only going to use one space. Now, I did confirm with Ever that this will be the final design as far as the production unit. So it's good that they've addressed this issue. If they would, would have sticked with this design, one of the cons I would have given it was the design because I don't like how it sticks out too much against the wall or a uh, power strip. So it's good that they address this issue. Let's talk about the most important thing, functionality. Now, when we talk about functionality and features, we do need to talk about the Ever app as well. But first, the biggest feature that the smart plug has over its competition is energy monitoring. You're able to see in real time your energy consumption or over time your energy consumption over a period of time. Now, of course, like any smart plug, you can turn this on and off through the Ever app or through an ecosystem. And in this case, Apple HomeKit. Now I did ask Ever about Amazon or Google compatibility. And their answer was that they're actively in production or developing a smart plug that is compatible with the Matter protocol. Now I'm not gonna get into the Matter protocol right now, but any Matter compatible device will be compatible with all the major ecosystems as well. But as far as this plug itself, only Apple HomeKit. So here we are in the app, and before I get into the app, let me tell you about my setup. I do have the Ever Smart plug plugged into the wall. Plugged into that is a power strip. Plugged into the power strip is this light right here, a AA, AAA battery charger. Then I have the charger to my MacBook Air here. So we'll get into that as we get into the details here. But on the home screen of the app, we have all the devices that are paired with our Ever app here. Of course, I only have one and I call it energy monitor. You can call it anything you want. I call it energy monitor, but let's tap on there. And of course we can turn on the power state, which is basically on and off. So I'm gonna turn it on and this light will turn on. Let's turn it off. Now let's go into more details by tapping the three dots above that. 
and we're now in the device details. So let me go from top to bottom and explain everything. At the top, we have the title, which is Energy Monitor. This is where you can change the title. This is what we're going to call an Apple HomeKit as well. Then you have your power state. It's the on and off button, really. I'm going to turn that on. Now, the active power is how much power is being consumed in real time. So we have right now up to almost six watts of power being pulled from that lamp and that light bulb. But if I plug in my MacBook Air or the charger to my MacBook Air here, this should jump up to about 25 to 42 watts that's being pulled. Now, this is six watts from the light bulb plus what's being pulled by the laptop. As my laptop is pretty charged up, it's not going to pull as much power. Then below that, we have our graphs, electricity consumption by, now I have it by day. You can do it by month or, or by year. We're going to go by day because I don't have that much data. Uh, I haven't had this very long, but this is going to be all over the place because I've been testing out this smart plug for the past couple of days. But so if we go back to, let's say, October 29th, 28th, we have a, this constant flow of data It's because during these two days, I was testing out how much power is being consumed by my downstairs freezer here. So I plugged it into there and the first day was 0.72 kilowatts of power. The next day, 0.7. So I learned that that freezer pulls about 0.7 to 0.72 kilowatts of power, depending on how much we use it. So how much the freezer is being open. Below that, we have our logs here. So this is uh, logs when the device was turned on or off, the smart plug was turned on and off. Uh, it only really shows the last five entries there. Then we have this power thing called power on configuration. And this is very cool because it does save the last state that it was in, whether it was on or off. And then let's say you unplug it or the power goes out of the house. So the smart plug loses power. Let's say you plug it back in or power is restored to the smart plug. It will remember the last time if it was on or off. Uh, that, that's what restore last state. Or you can have it just turn off or turn it automatically on. Now, some of the smart plugs I have, uh, you can't control that. So some of them either do one of these three things. Now, if you have one smart plug that's set to on, what happens is, let's say I'm on vacation and I have a smart plug with a light connected to it. Uh, of course, when before I left, I turned it off, right? Well, let's say during vacation, the power goes out of my house and it's restored. If this power state, power on action for that smart plug is set to on, it's going to turn on the light, even if I'm not there. And then the next one we have is disable switch button, which is another cool feature that I like as well. So back when I was monitoring my freezer here, of course, the freezer can't be off, so I always had the power state on. I just really wanted to use it for energy logging, right? So the only way I have to be careful not to turn off the freezer, but there's an actual physical button on the smart plug itself, and we can disable that button because that button is a really an on and off switch of the state. But when I switch this, disable switch button is on, no matter when I, how much I press that button, it's not going to do anything. So that's a nice touch that they added to this smart plug. And then below that, we have the device information, which shows you uh, the serial number, the model, and the firmware for this product. So let me tell you one of the main ways I've been using this smart plug. I wanted to see the energy usage of my home office setup here, and in particular, those devices that don't need to be on 24-7. So I have in my setup here, I have two main surge protectors or power strips. One is plugged into things that need to be on 24 seven, such as my Mac mini, my network switch here. And then the other one is plugged into the smart plug here. Now, before I go on, uh, this smart plug can handle up to 16 amps of power and at 120 volts at 16 amps, that's about 1,920 watts. I don't really have to plug in anything that really comes close to that max limit there. And I wouldn't plug things in like a portable AC unit that might have a surge when it starts up that goes over 2000 watts. So, but the things I'm plugging into here do doesn't even come close to it. So what am I plugging into this particular surge protector or power strip? 
Well, things like my monitor, my Alexa device here, these things I don't need on, especially when I'm not in the room itself. So what are some of the things I really like about this Ever Smart Plug? Well, I like how it's really well built. Uh, this thing is gonna last uh, quite a long time. Then I like how it's easy to pair with Apple HomeKit. Apple HomeKit always makes it very easy to pair devices. Of course, the main feature is I like the energy monitoring. So I can see my energy consumption in real time or over a period of time. And then they thought of a few other features that I would have never thought of, of disabling the physical power button. So that's very useful depending on what situation you use this in. Then I like the power on configuration where I can configure what happens when this disconnects and reconnects. So what are some of the things I don't like about this device? Well, first, the lack of Google and Amazon compatibility with their ecosystem. That might be a deal killer for some. It's kind of a big deal for us because this house is an Amazon. We're in the Amazon ecosystem as far as devices are concerned. Then as far as build quality, it's a very well built uh, plug, but the design is a little bit bulky. Now I understand they had to cram in a lot of technology into this little part, but I wish it was a little bit smaller. Now the fact that they're going to have a flat pl plug, a 90 degree angled plug will help a lot. And lastly, I wish scheduling was built into the Ever app itself. Uh, Ever decided to push everything to Apple HomeKit. Now, if you don't know about Apple HomeKit, to do any kind of home automation like scheduling or to access your devices remotely outside of your network or to share your access to your HomeKit with, with somebody else, let's say like family members, you're gonna need a HomeKit hub, which means you, you'll either need an iPad, you'll need an Apple TV, or you'll need a HomePod. I wish scheduling was built into the Ever app and stored onto the device itself, like some other smart plugs or smart devices, such as my smart light bulbs. So what do I think of the Ever Energy Monitoring Smart Plug? I really like it. It's a very premium product, but would I recommend it? Well, it all depends. If you're looking for a smart plug just to turn on and off devices, then this is definitely overkill. I will be doing a video in the near future on some cheaper smart plugs, but if you're looking for something more premium, something with more features, something with energy monitoring, then you might want to consider this product. Of course, if you're not in the Apple ecosystem, if you definitely need something that's Google or Amazon compatible, then you might want to look for something else or wait for future uh, products from Ever itself. Now, as of this recording, this will eventually retail for $39. You can get it at a significant discount by pre-ordering it right now. Uh, full disclosure, I am an Ever affiliate now, so I might get some kickback on any purchases made, but I'll make sure to link all these products in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and consider hitting that subscribe button. Until the next one, see ya.